Voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk. <laughs> well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm going to make a commentary on my own freaking video. Hooray! Now, believe it or not, this video actually took me about four hours to make. Uh. You know, the usual videos uh, that I make a video response to, regardless on whether or not I show my face, take between about 30 minutes to an hour. But this was the 300 sub special, and I wanted to make something special, goddammit. And, you know, the first part, you know, th just the part here alone, you know, I had to figure it out on how I'm going to start this. And, um, you know, I just ended up with this. And, you know, it looks, you know, it looks great, you know? <laughs> I have such a good video editor that I might as well put it to good use, right? I mean, <laughs> what's the point of having a green screen if you're not going to use it? Feminism is a dirty word. It's a toxic subject. <laughs> True or not, there's a lot of feminist bashing going on these days, and I don't just mean from men. Oh Twitter, no, this jackass. Feminism. He's been in That's my right. list for quite some Woman time, and it's about damn time I make a video response to him. Is a thing. All right. Even the mainstream press. I doubt his videos is going to be any or different or from the average everyday. I need feminism so videos. Suggested that but you know what? Shifted. I might as well make a video response to, to him. Vilifying I could do that too. Watch this. Feminism is a dirty word. Amen to that, brother. It's a toxic subject. <laughs> True or not, there's a lot of feminist bashing going on these days, and I don't just mean from men. I don't know why, but you sound very goddamn similar to Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. Go on Twitter and look at Women Against Feminism. That's right. Women Against Feminism. Whoa. Is a thing. Even the mainstream press often caricature feminism as vitriolic or autocratic. Or they say it's, it's dying. Well, yeah. It's a dying movement. Mainly because it's trying to find anything that, you know, it's sexist. I mean, for fuck's sake. FART RAPE EXISTS! FART RAPE! A recent Guardian article suggested that feminists have shifted from attacking inequality to vilifying individuals. Well, you did just point out Shirtgate, so... Yeah... And there's statistics too. 77% of men and 57% a majority of women say that they're definitely not feminists. Only 27% of women and 10% of men openly identify with feminism. This is despite the fact that 81% of the entire population advocate equal rights. It's almost as if feminism doesn't own the concept of equality. The gasp! So, does feminism really carry that much baggage? Is it a toxic word? The word feminism isn't toxic itself. The movement is! Seriously, feminism has become a big fucking joke. You, you just, you know, look at this article about Shirky and you just went up and say, nah, nah, nah. Uh, these people, these people just, you know, just doesn't like the word feminism. But hell, I guess people just oppose the Nazis because, you know, Nazi just sounds like a terribly evil word. So we gotta get rid of those guys who just call themselves Nazis. No. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love the reaction this guy's making. <laughs> hey, you wanna play a game of chess? <laughs> no. How about we eat some smoked pole? <laughs> no. Watch My Little Pony together? <laughs> no. Masturbate to lesbian porn? No. There's just no pleasing you, isn't there? No. Figured as much. Clearly, there's some confusion. 
Oh yeah, it's just, you know, basic confusion, you know. All those videos that you saw, that you know, about how feminists are acting this and that, you know. It's, you're just confused, you know, you just don't understand it. It's misunderstood. It's not something that we should be scared of. For the greater good, join the hive mind! We shouldn't shy away from her. Wait, feminism is a girl? Jeez, I wonder if I could take her out for dinner and, you know, tell her how much I hate her. Or be embarrassed by feminism. It's not some subversive cult designed to enslave all men to female rulers. <laughs> and no. I think you're supposed to do this. <laughs> no. It's not some movement of... Angry, bra-burning, man-hitting lesbians who are just mad because they can't find a husband. Get to the chopper. <laughs> uh, you sound almost exactly like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go on, say it. Say it, goddammit. Feminism is equalism. No, no it's not. And to help me, I am going to use my 300 sub special video to demonstrate. There's this phrase that gets thrown around a lot, and I don't know if you've heard it, but I've heard it quite a bit. And that's whenever I bring up the word feminism. And I say, hey, are you a feminist? And they'll say, no, I'm not a feminist. I'm a gender egalitarian. Oh, so you don't like to breathe, but you like to consume oxygen through your lungs. I mean, think of it this way. Feminism? Egalitarianism? They're the same fucking thing! Someone needs to clearly do their fucking research. There's a difference between feminism and egalitarianism. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights, while egalitarianism basically is support of all rights, regardless of race, gender, or... I guess, hair color. Now, there's a vital key difference. Feminism focuses on women's rights, not the rights of gays or um, the rights of blacks. But it primary focus is on women. It's like saying that Christians and Catholics are basically the same group of people because they have similar morals. But there are completely two groups of people. The same thing can be said with atheists and Satanists just because they don't believe in a god. It's about leveling the playing field, not about giving anyone an unfair advantage. Uh, there's a couple of feminists out there, believe it or not, who believe that the test to go inside the Marines is, you know, way too difficult for women. So what they should do is that they should lower these tests for these women. Which is absolutely ridiculous! Anyone, everyone, can be a feminist. Being a male feminist is nearly impossible. Unless you castrate your balls and find no women to be attractive. It's not a lifestyle or a, a ready-made identity. But it's pretty goddamn close to being one. There's no starter kit, uniform, or membership card. But if a woman dyes her hair red, chances are she's a feminist. And most importantly, it can be just as much a male issue as it is a female one. Two things. There is plenty of feminists out there who opposes the MRAs. Which, by the way, the MRAs are just trying to focus on men's rights. And another thing is that these feminists are not protesting about how men are serving more prison time than women. We don't see feminists protest about uh, male circumcision being forced upon infants. But instead, what do we have? We have feminists trying to ban the word Bossy! And not because we have wives, mothers, and daughters, but because men are victims of sexual violence and domestic violence too. And these are issues that feminists try to address. They don't. They really fucking don't. And even if they do address the issue, it's, you know, pretty much at the bottom of their to do list. So tell me, what's toxic about that? Well, how about your massive dishonesty? Now, this is usually the part where I say, I am the atheist gamer, peace the game out. But there's more. By more, I mean there's like two more videos that I need to respond to. So, hooray, let's watch more of his shit.
Too many people are scared of feminism. And by people, I mean men. You're a big fat pussy if you don't call yourself a feminist. Now I don't mean that we're scared of feminism's aims. I mean that we're too scared, even if we're supporters. Now what the fuck is this supposed to mean? To nail our colors to the mast and say yes. I'm a feminist. You are 100%, without a doubt, a complete and utter dumbass. Because whether it's, it's seen as a woman's issue or it makes you less of a man, it can be a really, really difficult topic to approach. We're trying to talk about gender discrimination when it doesn't really affect us. The only thing is, is that what you define as sexism or gender discrimination is based on crazy ideologies based on the patriarchy. So very often it's just easier to avoid completely. But we shouldn't be afraid to openly identify as feminists. Yeah, feminism means different things to different people. But it means absolutely nothing considering that people should value the actions more than, well, its meaning. But if you think about it, most of us probably have a lot of feminist views anyway. Well, a lot of Christians out there pretty much share a common view with that with the Muslims. So, does that mean that all Christians are Muslims? If you believe in equal pay for equal work, you're a feminist. Everything that you're about to mention, I have to say only one thing. You do not have to be a feminist to believe in any of those things. There are other groups of people out there. There are humanists, egalitarianists, okay? Stop thinking that feminism owns equality. If you think skill trumps gender and the best person for the job should get the job, that's feminism. If you'd rather be judged by your talents and not your looks, you're a feminist. If you think women should have access to affordable birth control, if you think laws should change and society changes, and if you wouldn't want someone to tell you what you can or can't do with your own body, you are an egalitarianist. Congratulations! If you wouldn't want to be pressured into settling down and having kids in your late teens or your early 20s, or if it would offend you to be given or not given a job based on your gender, well this makes you a feminist. And if you think that your daughters should have exactly the same rights as your sons, well isn't that feminism? If you believe in a patriarchy, then you're a feminist. If you believe that a sister to white man is possibly the most privileged man on this planet, then you're a feminist. If you believe that feminists should focus more on first world problems like banning the word bossy than to actually helping women in third world countries who are being stoned to death, you're a feminist. The point is that feminism isn't bad. It's not about gender bashing. It isn't exclusive to women. And it doesn't deprive men. Holy fuck is this wrong! We shouldn't be afraid to be feminist flag bearers. Because if you thought about it in terms of our views and not our actions, most of us would be feminists anyway. Wrong. Just because you share a common ideology, i.e. equality, doesn't automatically make you a feminist. Uh, being a feminist is not just a simple, if you believe in equality, you're a feminist. Okay, no, it just doesn't work like that. Being a feminist means that you believe in a fucking patriarchy while egalitarians may or may not believe in the patriarchy, which is uh, the belief that in certain fields, men have the advantage over women and vice versa. And you know what? They are right. We are probably living in a patriarchy system, which is why we need to focus on both issues equally, not just, just focusing on women. Seeing that you care about men's rights, therefore, you believe in a patriarchy. And because feminists tend to believe in the patriarchy and not the patriarchy, therefore, you are a egalitarianist, not a feminist, or at least not a third-way feminist. We're just too scared to admit it. There's one more, just bear with me. I have a problem with feminism. Men have a problem with feminism, but it's not that we disagree with it. Our problem is in identifying as feminists. But there's plenty of men who disagree with feminism, so I don't know what you're talking about. Should we embrace feminism given that gender stereotypes and sexism affect us too? 
Or should the struggle against the oppressor contain only the voices of the oppressed? Well, I hate to break it to you, pal, but the oppressed is not oppressed. And I'm talking about just women and blacks. Gay people, they're definitely discriminated against. Can we lay claim to the tag? Can men call themselves feminists? The problem is that there's plenty of men who say they support feminism, but they're not really feminists. Well, who are you to say who is and who isn't a feminist? They don't apply it in everyday life. You get the, the mansplainers. You get the men who don't recognize their own sexist behavior. And you get the self-appointed feminists who are just trying to gain credibility in the eyes of women. And that's pretty much the majority of white knights. They just defend women out of nowhere and think they're going to get laid just by defending a feminist, you know? Because uh, apparently white knighting is attractive. You also get preachy men. <laughs> and women definitely don't need a man to tell them how to be a better feminist. So you guys just sit down and shut up, you know, when it comes to feminism. Obey your masters! You see, men can definitely sympathize with feminist arguments. Feminist arguments are as strong as a house meow straw. It's just way too easy to take down. But can we understand them? Because we're just not socialized to consider how our, our habits or our attitudes might harm women. So basically, feminism is like going through a minefield without a mine detector and there's a wall pushing you forward. And if you step on a mine, you awaken the fucking kraken. We'll never experience inequality or objectification as women do. I got two words for that. Divorce courts. I've never felt constantly targeted or been harassed in the street or proposition for sex. But that doesn't mean it never happens. I've never had the right to govern my own body threatened. Male circumcision on infants. So are men, am I, so permanently blinded by male power and privilege that I can't call myself a feminist? You can be a male feminist, but the standards of being a male feminist is so ridiculously impossible. I mean, seriously, almost anything that a male does nowadays can be considered a sexist act. Maybe holding a door for a woman, which, you know, somehow means that a woman is incapable of holding a door for herself. So that means you're a sexist. Ugh. Or calling a woman a deer because, you know what, that, that's somehow sexism. Am I a hypocrite if I call myself a feminist? Does my attraction to women prevent me from being a feminist? In a way, yes. Yes, it does. Because no matter how anti-sexist we are, men talk and think about women in terms of their sexuality. Everyone innocently objectifies the opposite sex. Women too. I mean, come on. We've all definitely said things in front of our friends that we probably wouldn't say in front of the opposite sex. And if we did, they wouldn't appreciate it. Does that eliminate us from calling ourselves feminists? <laughs> I don't know. But what I do know is that these, these names and, and labels, they don't really matter. It's how feminism is translated into everyday life that counts. And what's more important to recognize is that feminism is a movement for anyone who stands up to or, or even just recognizes the damage caused by sexism or, or violence or socially constructed oppression. That's why you don't have to be a woman to be a feminist. Just the same way you don't have to be black to oppose racism or you don't have to be gay to support gay rights. Well, I'm glad this is over. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.